Today I'm going to show you exactly how I made this video using AI. In a realm where magic meets eccentricity, where wonder blends with the unanticipated, comes a tale that's uniquely enchanting. Meet Harry, Ron, and Hermione, a trio of friends who are as extraordinary as they come. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, where every nook has a story and each class is an enchanting adventure. As Harry unravels the mystery of his past, you'll be taken on a journey filled with enchanting twists. The dark forces of Voldemort and his followers will stop at nothing, but even villains here have a peculiar charm. In an enchanted twist, the world of Harry Potter, starring Timothy Chalamet, Bill Murray, Tilda Swinton, Jason Sagel, Willem Dafoe, Jason Schwartzman, and Owen Wilson. Wow. Get ready to experience the magic, the whimsy, and the charm like never before. Coming soon. You've probably seen these videos around getting millions of views. I love them myself. And the one you just saw you can make in about 30 minutes. So let's get right into it. First of all, we're going to need some AI images of some characters that you want to see in the style of a different director. Now we're going to use Mid Journey. Obviously, you can use any free AI image generator like Leonardo AI. And the process should be about the same. So for a prompt, I found that this works best. You want to say the actor that you want in there. And then you want to say dressed up as and then the character you want him to be. And then in a movie directed by insert director. Then we want to make it 16 by 9 for a YouTube video and we're going to do dash dash style raw. This should make the images more accurate to what you're trying to say with less beautification and everything. So let's say Bill Murray dressed up as Gandalf in a movie directed by Wes Anderson and there we go that's how they got their Gandalf. Here's Timothy Chalamet as Frodo and here he is as Jon Snow. You get the idea. Now for the places just do the same thing this is just Hogwarts in a movie directed by Wes Anderson and you get amazing results. Also works for interiors of course so you just want to go through every character that you need for your trailer and pick some good wow. actors to go with it. Next we're going to need to animate all these images. For this we're going to use DID. Now you can use it for free but then you will have a big watermark through the entire clip but for only six bucks a month you can get 40 credits and you only have a tiny DID watermark in the corner which you could remove with an AI watermark remover. However I would not suggest doing that. So once you've made an account you should be on studio.did.com we're going to go to create video and we're not going to choose a presenter. We're going to add our own and this is where we will add our images. So we're just going to add our Dumbledore here. Now, normally this is where you would input your script or your audio for the character to actually say that. However, we just want him looking around, blinking a little bit. So we're going to upload a silent audio clip of about five to seven seconds. So I just recorded seven seconds of silence with audacity. We're going to go to audio and we're going to upload our silent MP3. Once it's uploaded, just hit generate video and generate. And here's our Bill Murray Dumbledore. So now you just want to do this with every character you have. And there's all our main characters. So you want to just download all of these, put them in a new folder. Now to animate the Hogwarts castle picture a little bit. For that, you're going to head over to layapix.com. And again, we're just going to log in with Google. So we're just going to drag and drop our image in here. And look at that, it's already 3D. So you can change the amount of motion, the focus point, the edge dilation and you can actually choose which way you want the camera to be moving so for this one we're just going to turn off the x and the z amplitudes and just keep the y in the middle there so it only goes up and down and that's perfect we're going to export that this is absolutely free by the way you get free credits so just do this with as many images as you want so we're going to head over to chat gpt for the script i just said i need you to create a voiceover script for a wes anderson trailer the movie is harry potter but by wes anderson it came up with this amazing script it's perfect so next we're going to head over to 11 labs make sure you sign up with your google account again we're going to go over to speech synthesis. Now that viral voice that everyone uses is called Adam, which is in here. Leave all the rest the same. We can play with that later if we need to. And next we're going to just copy paste all the narrator parts into 11 labs. Now you don't have to do this all separately. You can just put them all into the same text box. And there we go. Now we're just going to add in the part where he introduces the actors. So we'll just say starring. There we go. That should be good. Now hit generate. In a realm where magic meets eccentricity, Perfect. So if it's not quite right, you can play around with these sliders, but this is pretty damn good. So we're going to download that. It's just about one minute. Now, I don't like the way he said this. I think it's because I forgot a period here. So I'm just going to redo that sentence alone. Fantastic. Download that. So now all we have to do is throw everything together. Obviously, you can use any video editor you want, but let's use CapCut as we want to keep this free. So inside of CapCut, we're just going to drag and drop all our clips in there, as well as our 11 labs audio. And now we're only going to need a background music. So feel free to check the audio library 
in YouTube Studios. These are all free to use. I like using Upbeat. I actually just typed in Wes Anderson here to see what came up, and I think that's perfect. So we're going to use that one. Great. Now we have everything we need to make the video. First, let's put in our Eleven Labs voice. All right. So now we're just going to layer our animated photos on top of the script where it makes sense. Actually, I don't like it going up and down, so I'm just going to cut it where it went up. And we're going to go to speed, and you can change the speed. We can bring it down a bit, and it will be slower. You can actually cut out the background of these characters. So if you just select the video, go over to video, then to cut out, and you just hit auto cut out, it will get rid of the background. Now I cut all the characters here so that you can see them blink. So make sure there's some movement there when you cut out the character clips. All right, so now we got all our pictures in the right places on top of the right audio. Now we're just gonna add our background music to the whole thing. I'm gonna turn the volume down and here we go. So next thing we're gonna do is gonna add some text. We want the actors names to be under their clips when they say it so we're just going to go over here to text go to default text just drag that on top then we're going to change the font i found this lightning font which is actually perfect for harry potter but just choose one that makes sense we can give it a stroke like that now we're just going to go over to each clip and hit split which is bead by default on cap cut and we're just going to split the text like so and then we're just going to type the actor's name where they should be and then we can just add the coming soon on the end make it a bit bigger and put it in the middle and there we go our video is done now all you have to do is hit export and you got yourself a viral wes anderson movie trailer if you like this video you'll probably like this one as well please subscribe see you next time